Excited for the finale, but also a little sad that season one is coming to an end. Tonight we are going to be watching Come We Can't Communicate episode 12, season one finale. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, so they're starting right from where we left off last episode. <laughs> the devious look. <laughs> I love how the ultimate salesman just came out of Asana. Osana, that's okay. <laughs> More volume? So I get Osana's plan here was to get Komi to walk out, attract more potential customers. But is this Osana's way of getting customers to leave? Also, <laughs> a 30 minute walk? How long is this cafe going to be open for? Maybe you guys can provide more insight to this. But where does the money go from all of these festival events or kind of small businesses? Do they just feed back to the school? directly into a school fund, or is it specifically to the classroom for supplies or something like that? Oh my goodness! What? What? <laughs> 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 See, I've always been curious about this trope, the haunted house at a school fest. Because when I think of a classroom, I think it was pretty small. But in the animes, they always seem so big and you go through all these corridors and there's so many people dressing up in crazy costumes. Like it seems like an amazing experience, but I'm surprised they're able to squeeze it in on a, like a student budget and in such a small space. Uh... Oh, these are kind of cute. Poor Coley. <laughs> oh, she missed her chance. Thank you for the explanation. <laughs> I admit, I didn't expect that to happen, but I was wondering. Because I think it sounds like it's a great idea in theory. But it kind of puts the person on the spot. If it's someone you don't really know as well and you're just shouting out off the top of your lungs, it's kind of like... <laughs> oh boy, Osana looks like... Yep, another bad idea. This is a whole show! Gee, I wonder who she would be shouting to. <laughs> I actually do applaud her for shooting her shot here. This has to be the most normal and least overwhelming of the things she's done. Oh, that's awkward. Oh no. Osana didn't. Yeah, to be expected. <laughs> that's all she had to do. Voice of our God. Yeah. Close enough. I don't know whether to be impressed with their interpretive skills or. Osana had this prepared. It does suit Komi though. A new character? Osana. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the new hair, the glasses. She just summed up what we were all thinking. Why is she in there? Oh, I love this trio together. Oh, 
Why am I the festival after her? Oh my goodness, this seems like a really fun festival. So you have trivia, different kind of athletic types of games. Oh, that's pretty good. Even a concert? Oh my goodness. And the soundtrack is just... Wait, wait, are we gonna get some sort of confession? You know, when the sun sets and fireworks start in the background? It has to be a maid cafe. The volume in which they sold? Yes! Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Got called out by Tanano. I wonder which group won. <laughs> 200 degrees, yes. Oh, that's fun. I'm surprised this whole event is so well run. I'm assuming this was all student run and they only had time for after school to do it. Stop, and you get a buffet. Number of injuries after this event skyrockets. Yes, then I'll go for it. Right into the spotlight. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Leave it to Asana to diffuse the tension and awkwardness. Okay, how are they not tired? I thought they pulled an overnighter. They've been serving and working at the cafe all day. Had the whole after party, now they have a party after the after party. Oh, I love karaoke. I love their family so much. They're so adorable. I love that Komi's mom is so outspoken about the things that she loves. And the fact that her family is just there in support. <laughs> Oh. Is this Osana or is this Elvis Osana? In karaoke, you always have the standard type of singers. You have those that are like Osana, who have all this energy and are just... It's the better pool, whether they're half singing or half screaming. Or two, the type that's like super shy but can sing really well. And then you have those types that are just into the feel good songs, you know? Let me know in the comments which one you are. <laughs> <laughs> the mic hog. Oh. Oh, your mic's brave. Wow. If there's one thing we should all learn from your mind, it's her unwavering confidence. Girl will see anything and interpret it in a positive light towards her. I respect the confidence. Endless world end, of course. All right. <laughs> Tanano's flashbacks. Oh, I wish we heard more of the karaoke. Okay, maybe not that much. And what about Tsankomichi shows? Oh no! <laughs> I love how they're all tearing up in a group hallucination. <gasps> I'm excited for Tanano to sing. I love how this prelude is like, well, 15 seconds. That's pretty long. Oh, no, no. I'll be honest, I still don't like that about this group. The, the difference in treatment towards Tadano, I don't think he deserves that. <gasps> Look at Komi paying rapt attention. Look at Tadano getting his whole solo moment here. Get to hear his whole song. Oh yeah, look at him singing his heart out. Oh yes! No! 
Oh, I really love that. Are you serious? That's a bonus scene? <gasps> Yay! We do have season two of Come We Can't Communicate to look forward to. I am a little bit disappointed we didn't see more development between Komi and Tanana's relationship. But you know, I think that was a really sweet ending, so no complaints there. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite scene, and I'll see you guys soon.